I've got a service call here today. I already kind of did a basic look at it. So I got my service van here today and uh, we went ahead and took a look at it and it looks like the contactor's burned out. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look, make sure there ain't nothing else messed up. So we're just gonna go there and we'll grab a contactor out. We're not really allowed to do side jobs, but this job here is kind of for a man of God, it's not a preacher. So went ahead and decided we'd do it. So let's go take a look at it and uh, see what we got going on. So here's the culprit. Basically called last night and said, hey, it's not running. So got here, got the panel off, and you know, the biggest problem with it right here. So yeah, it, it's not a good man. We need a good, the best man, but we, we have a bad man here. So he, he put the man hot. So we get the cover open, got looking down in here, and wouldn't you know, you smell something really burnt. So my best hunch would be that the contactor coil there is what's burned up. The other one would have been the capacitor being swollen or possibly the board there because we had a really nasty burn smell. So we're going to go ahead and get that thing yanked out of there and take a look at it. We just got a universal Emerson 24 volt contactor here. It's even got the bug shield so the bugs don't get into it. We got the new contactor in there that fit in there all nice and pretty. But that we decided to go ahead and check the uh, capacitor too while we're at it. So the capacitor for the 45 microfarad is fine but the five is junk, so we're just gonna have to get him a new one of those in there. This is gonna be an easy call. Figured it would be, but that's the reason why I decided to go ahead and do this uh, little short video here, little little uh, break from the norm. We'll go ahead and get this thing on there. I have a bad feeling though, with that coil burned up the way it is, that it may have taken out his thermostat too. So, like I said, collect all your clues for your uh, problem you got going on here and don't just do one thing and walk away so we'll go ahead and double check this one too while we're at it all right and just to kind of show you on this one here that i'm not kidding go to fan and common she's coming in there at 0.84 which is garbage common hermetic she's at 33 so she's weak 33 and it's rated for 45 so this thing was getting ready to tear itself completely apart it didn't mushroom or anything but it's uh definitely uh it's a bad man it's a bad man capacitor it's bad capacitor is bad it's very very bad so this guy here that, that, that's 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 the alabama swing here so yeah we're gonna get him up and going all right so we get a little better luck here at this contactor so that thing is toasty critter Check the resistance, we're like at 0.9 ohms. So we got a little bit of a load there. It's not a complete dead short, so maybe it just made the thermostat hot, but it very likely may have damaged it. So we're gonna have to take a look. Unfortunately, I don't have a thermostat with me, so we're gonna have to kick it on and see what happens. We do got the new capacitor in there, so give it a shot and let's go get her going. All right. This is where all my old tools go to die into one of my reserve bags here. This, uh, I don't know, I just, I used this bag for a while and I just, I don't know, it's it's an okay bag, I know y'all like it, and but I, I've tried putting the tools in this area here, I've tried putting it in the back, I, I don't know. So I've got my most common ones in here and anything I wanted to upgrade basically just got thrown into my new one and I kept the old ones in here, but it's got all my very bare necessities Even got a little electric wire in there. So we've got to make a quick repair got my This is a kind of a cool one uh, This one here's got a latch mechanism on it. So it actually locks it down that way. It doesn't open up on you So that works out pretty cool So let's see if this thing actually kicks on and runs. I I hope it does But like I said, there's a good chance that thermostat might have gotten damaged which we'll probably go inside and have to double check it anyhow. But yeah, I forgot to bring my drill with me too. So ain't nothing worse than losing and forgetting your drill. Cause man, I hate doing stuff by hand. All right, so the battery light he said has been on for about the last three years. Luckily this thing has a common wire. So we're looking like that should work. Just a curiosity, we're gonna put her back on there and see if she powers up. Which it does. So he doesn't necessarily need them, but we're gonna go ahead and put them back in there just in case. Well, mismatched batteries, breaking oh, all the oh. protocols. Man, oh man, that, <laughs> that, that looks like right the kind we got at church. 
she's alive. So we've got 11.8 amps. Check out our fan here somewhere, this wiry mess. Uh, I bet you it's this one right here, going to the defrost board. Lock it into AC, that's one of the reasons why I don't like it. So less than an amp, that sounds about right. So we're gonna go ahead and check the refrigerant, which we're sweating back anyhow. I got my probes for that, so I'm not gonna be able to show you guys the picture. I'll have to use a screenshot. All right, so we got everything picked up. We're good to go. Basically, all we have is just two bad components. Moral of the story, collect all the evidence, build your case, make sure that you've got all the clues. This would have been uh, the main thing that took it out. How in the world this thing was even running? Was it even running? Who knows? I don't see how that fan was running, but I've seen them happen before. But it had a back capacitor. Refrigerant charge looked fine. Superheat's a little low. It's about six degrees, but it's a Goodman. So, you know, it happens. So, coil isn't too bad. I'm gonna tell him to keep an eye on it as far as uh, keeping the cottonwood off because man, there's a lot of trees in here. All right, well, luckily we didn't need any refrigerant or anything, so we can get the heck out of here. All right, guys, if you like the video and you want to see more like it, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, we'll catch you guys on the next one.